Detective Junkyard. We are going to be now watching the first woman pay-per-view evolution. Uh, just got done watching the pre-show. No matches on the pre-show. No one's talking about the female European title. So I don't know if it's going to be on here or not. But let's do this. Okay, everybody, match. The first match was Lita and Trish versus Mickey James and Alexa. Uh, Al Alicia Fox. Uh, your winner of the match. Mickey James and Lita. I'm kind of a little disappointed in this. They don't have the lights on, so you see the crowd. Uh, no LEDs, you know, around the ring, the ring post. No, only LEDs in the back where they come out at. So, it's pretty much like a house show. Was set that one entrance play. Other than that, it's Tonight like a house show. I think this so far is not a very good pay per view. No lights, no nothing. That's my opinion. So, on, on to our next match. Okay, everybody, the match was the uh, Women's Battle Royal. Uh, the winner was Nia Jax. She gets a shot. Amber Moon came close to winning it. Came up short. But, yeah. The winner of the Rumble. Amber Moon. I mean, Nia Jax. I wanted Amber to win. It bought City. Okay, everybody, the next match was the May Young Classic match. Tony uh, Storm versus uh, Oso. I don't know what her last name is, but your winner. And the May Classic winner for 2018, Tony Storm. So, congratulations, Tony. Uh, she's probably be going back to the UK in that division, so, good luck, I hope to see you real soon. So, on to the next match. Okay, everybody, the next match was the six-woman tag match, the Riot Squad versus Natalia, Sasha Banks. And Bailey. Sasha kind of made a mistake. She didn't get far enough. The Riot Squad tried to help her out. But they threw her against, you know, the barricade. It's not a barricade. It's the old timey gate that just has the WWE logo. Does it's no padding whatsoever. Okay, so the only time you see lights out, lights is when they're coming in the ring. Other than that, the lights out in the crowd. Uh, they don't have no LED on the ring, no LED on the ring poles. Yeah, this is a deadified uh house show. That is pretty much they're treating this first pay-per-view like a house show. It's a good pay-per-view, but you can tell WWE didn't put a lot of money in it. They didn't do no advertising. They're not really spending any money on effects like they do for the guys. So... Yeah, I'm a little bit upset. I think there's like two more matches, so. Uh, let's get it going. 
Okay, I forgot about this match. It was the NXT Women's Title. Uh, Shayna Baszler versus uh, Pirate Princess. Uh, there was some interference in this match with two women that also were part of the MMA Four Horsewomen. Helped her become a two-time, two-time NXT Women's Champion. Yes, your winner is Shayna Baszler. Baszler, whatever her name is. I guess the way everything's set up, she'd be used to it. Because she's from NXT. I am so disappointed in WWE not put no money in this match, this pay-per-view. I mean, pretty much what they're doing is using NXT stuff. But, you know, I heard through the great run, this was, was only to give uh, Stephanie McMahon some publicity stuff to get on news and stuff. So, I mean, it's a decent pay-per-view. But, it could be a decent pay-per-view. It's all in packaging. That's all I'm going to say. You don't have the right package. It ain't going to be good. That's what WWE did. They did not package this good. Instead of putting like a pretty um, wrapping paper with a little bow. They're using newspaper as a wrapping paper and then string. Is pretty much what they're doing. So. Yeah, I know I'm ranting about everything so far. About the matches are good. The there's a few flops, a little mess ups, but the guys do the same damn thing. But this is a good pay per view. If it was shined up, it would have been a better pay per view if they shined it up. First one is pay-per-view. And they treating it like house show. To the next match. Okay, everybody, this match was the SmackDown Women's Championship. Last woman standing. Becky Lynch, champion, versus uh, Charlotte Flair. The winner. <coughs> Excuse me. Becky Lynch. It was a good match. You had tables, chairs, ladders, Charlotte getting buried. But Charlotte went to the top rope and while putting Becky on the table and did her famous move and she screwed up. So Becky retains. So who's going to be her next challenger? I wonder. Well, to the match I've been waiting to watch. Raw Women's Title, Ronda versus Nikki. Let's get it on! Okay, everybody. <clears throat> the final match for the Raw Women's Championship champion Ronda Rousey versus Nikki Bella. The winner of the match and it's the overall women's champion Ronda Rousey. Yes, I was pulling for Nikki, but the reason why I was pulling for Nikki, I was hoping she'd be on her, the show much longer, but I think she's only on there with to do Evolution. So now she'll go to her semi retired life. But, um, oh, I can't wait to see what everybody else says about this pay per view. It was, I like at the very end, they had all the women out. But, 
as much part as much as the women worked for this pay per view, WWE just gave them a lousy package. <laughs> they didn't make it special one bit. So, I salute you women of the WWE for putting on a very damn good show while. The owners of the company just didn't care. So thank you, ladies. I can't wait. I'm hoping there's going to be an evolution next year. And it'd be better than this year's. I'm hoping for it. But, the next pay-per-view. Crown Jewel. An all-man's pay-per-view. I wonder how the difference is going to be. Will they have the special LED on the ring? Will the ring poles have the LEDs? Will there be light where you can see the audience? We'll find out Friday. Who knows? That's the question. Till next time, Junkyard's closed. Peace!